Hi, this is Mary Peabody here to provide a brief tutorial on the Personnel Policy Generator. This tool is designed to guide you through producing an employee manual for your farm. Sample language is provided, but you're always welcome to modify the language to reflect your farm's situation. On your screen, you see the cover page for the Farm Labor Dashboard. One thing I want to encourage you to do right now, if you haven't already done so, is to create an account. Doing so will allow you to save your work and come back to it when you have changes or you want to continue your progress. Creating an account only takes a couple of minutes and it's a great way to protect your work. And basically to do that, all you have to do is scroll at the top of the web page. You look for the little green button. This is my account. When you click on that, it will open up and it will ask you to either sign in with your password or it will ask you if you'd like to create a new account. Clicking on create a new account will take you to a page with just a three or four different fields that you need to fill out and then you'll be all set. You'll get a um, confirmation email and you'll have your material stored um, safely where you can access it quickly in the future. So the personnel policy generator is found under the tools tab. So if you scroll over to tools and click on that, you will see that the toolbar opens up. If you scroll to the bottom, you will find the personnel policy generator. And we'll go ahead and click on that. You'll see some introductory text on why the tool is important and what its purpose is. And you'll see another reminder to create an account um, if you have, if you want to save your work. So we're going to click on the proceed to tool here just so that we can uh, get you started on, on your way. Okay, so you are going to begin creating your personnel policy manual. One reminder, whenever you see a red asterisk, it means that that is a field that is required. So for example, in the very first field you're asked to fill out is your farm or your business name and that is a required page. So you want to put something in there. Um, even and it won't or it won't let you move on all the others you can see farm business overview mission statement organization of the business eeo statement um, those don't have that red asterisk so those are all optional but again we've provided you with some more information on what you might want to put in there and a few little prompts and in some cases we've even provided you with some potential boilerplate plate language that you could actually insert there You'll notice there is a place where you can actually download a map or upload a map rather to your uh, generator. So in case that's important to you, you can always come back and do it again. If you don't have one prepared now, that's something that if once you have an account and you've saved your work, you can come back and do that at another time. The next section that you see, and again, these are all sort of drop downs. You just click on the little arrow and it will open it up for you, is the employee policies and introduction. And this is, again, where you see a lot of optional stuff and we've given you some boilerplate language. Wherever you see um, an X, that's a place where you can put in your farm's information. Likewise, if you see a blank, that's going to clue you in that somebody's name ought to be in there. Uh, moving down, again, the next section is work hours and scheduling, which I can promise you is probably going to be one of the very first sections that your employees will turn to, that plus the next um, the section on getting paid. Again, this information is important because it states clearly what the expectations are and creates the beginning of that really important paper trail that as a manager you want to have for all of your employees. So it goes over, again, sort of working times and schedules, overtime, recording their hours, what to do um, around attendance and lateness, um, what about how to report absences, things like that. Again, carrying forward, the next section is on getting paid. Uh, what is the pay period, um, what are the deductions, what is the pay rate, pay advances and loans, bonuses, anything that you have in there related to that, you want to make sure that you get in there so that employees are very clear on what's happening and what they can expect. Um, the next is unpaid and unpaid leave, and you may or may not have anything to add in there. Don't worry about it if you don't. It's not a problem, but some farms do offer some sort of vacation sick leave, um, paid holidays is pretty unusual, but funeral leave, jury duty, religious observance, those are the things that you probably as a manager want to be at least give some thought to, not necessarily that you would offer all employees all of those things, but you just want to be have given it some thought. 
Following that, we have sections on facilities, on safety and equipment, on clothing, cell phones, and any corrective discipline. Just a word of advice, even though something seems obvious to you, it might not be obvious to that new employee you just hired. So for example, if you don't want them taking their personal cell phones out to the field, you should say that. If you want them to come wearing clothes closed toed shoes, you should say that. Um, these are these are things that are not obvious, especially to employees that are new to the workforce. And writing it down eliminates misunderstandings down the road. So you're also going to find um, sections again on unacceptable behavior, uh, what's not allowed on your farm, um, you will find stuff on customer service and end of employment. There's also a final section where you can add a section of your choosing. You can title it anything you like and add the appropriate text. So again, this is all optional information. You can include it or not as um, your farm dictates. And the last feature is a place to insert any helpful links that you would like to share with your employees. This could be anything from crisis intervention sites to help for addictions to carpool information or housing resources. It really is up to you. Every farm is different, um, you know, and you know you're the best judge of your workforce and what links would be helpful to them. When you're finished and you've scrolled and you've gotten through all of these or you've gotten through as much as you can tolerate for one session, all you have to do is click on the save button and it basically is going to give you an option and in your version you would have a lot more stuff filled out there. The only thing I filled out was my business name so that's the only thing that's showing up. You can download a PDF or you can click edit, which will take you back to the screens we just left. Um, or you can know that your uh, material has been saved if you did create that account and you can come back to it and edit it at another time. So I hope this is helpful. I would encourage you all to play around with this. Again, until you um, are finished with it, you don't need to share it with your employees. But once you do have it done, it's a great um, opportunity to have a conversation with your employees as they start the season to get everyone off to the best start possible. This is Mary Peabody and thanks for your attention.